Hi, this is Sean with LoveToCode.com. In this video, you will learn how to install the MySQL database. MySQL is a free and popular database. It's a small footprint database, and it's perfect for developers who want to install and test with MySQL locally on their computer. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is um, open up a browser, and we're going to go to the website dev.mysql.com slash downloads. And this will take us to the MySQL site. We're going to download the MySQL community server. And we'll scroll down on this page and we'll choose the version for our operating system. I'm using Windows 8, so we'll choose the Windows download. And then we come down to the MySQL installer. You have two options. You can get the web installer that will install everything from the web, or you can get a, an offline um, installer. I'll just go ahead and choose the web installer. That's the first one. It's quicker to download. Here they'll prompt you to log in. Um, I'll just skip that and I'll just say no thanks. Uh, just start my download. And then at the bottom of your browser, uh, you have the option to start saving the file and it'll go through and save. So this is a really quick download and it's ready to go. So I'll just close those windows. I'll open up my Windows Explorer, move over to the downloads folder, and um, I'll double click the installer to start it up. Now at this point, I just go through and I read through everything on the license agreement and I accept it and click next. Here I'm gonna choose the, uh, develop, uh, the uh, developer default. So everything that a developer needs to um, install that includes the database along with some GUI client tools. I'll hit next. Now here they'll, they'll check for some requirements. So for the one thing that I'm really interested in beyond the uh, database is the MySQL workbench, which is the first one in the item here. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and um, select the um, option to execute, and this will actually download the um, C++ runtime that I need for that SQL workbench. And I'll just hit all the steps, accept, and so on. And I'll get that installed. So now I'm good. The others I'm, I'm not, I don't care about, so I'll just skip past those. And then I'll hit execute, and um, it'll go through the actual download process. So this will take a while. Um, I'll step away until it's done, and then I'll come back in a bit. Okay, great. So everything's downloaded. So everything's complete. We have green check marks all, all along the list. So that looks really good. We can go ahead and click on next. And then we'll click next here to configure our MySQL server. Um, I'll go ahead and accept the uh, defaults here for the uh, networking and the connectivity. And now for the password, I'll enter a root password. Um, if you want a strong password, you need to enter at least 12 characters. Um, anything less will be weak or medium. So I'll just do a 12 character password and it'll let me know that it's a strong password. Good. And then I'll go ahead and click on Next. And I'll go ahead and keep the defaults here for setting up a MySQL service and to start MySQL at startup. I'll hit Execute and it'll go through and apply those configurations. I'll hit Finish here. And now I have the option to install some of the sample tables. Um, first I'll go through and I'll check my credentials, which is successful. I'll hit next and execute. And so now it just created some sample tables for me. And I'll hit finish and it's going to start the MySQL workbench once we're done. So that's our MySQL workbench. It's basically a GUI that you can use for accessing your database, uh, for building queries, viewing tables, and so on. So I'll go ahead and connect the local instance. I'll enter my root password here and hit OK. And now I have access to various tables and schemas and so forth. So for right now, I'll just go into this world schema. It's just a little sample schema that was created. And I'll see that there's a table called city. I'll do select on those rows and I'll get the first 1000 cities from this given table. So just a verification that, hey, our database is running. We can run our GUI tool and we can actually connect and run a query. Good job. Well, that wraps up the installation process. We were successful with installing MySQL. Please subscribe to our channel to view more videos on MySQL. Click the thumbs up to like our video. Also, visit our website, lovetocode.com, to keep up with the MySQL database series.